Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and y'all know what time it is. Let's go. So, this morning, I'm doing something uh, for dinner. It's going to be uh, something I consider a one-pan meal. Quick and easy, guys. Quick and easy. So, what I have over here, I have the Mainstay Bistro Roasted Sea Salt and Black Pepper Potatoes. They are so good. I've cooked these before on my channel. Don't know if you guys remember. Um, okay. And also over here, I have some lemon pepper drumsticks that have been marinating overnight. Oh, y'all know I got to show y'all. Oh, look at that lemon pepper chicken. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, that lemon pepper chicken marinating all night. Got to bring it in for y'all. Mm, yep. Marinating all night, and as y'all can see, I've got my aluminum pan all ready. What I am going to do, I am going to spray the bottom of my pan. Spray my sides, you know how that go. So, we got that. We already got everything seasoned, so the only thing I gotta do is put the chicken in. Show you guys how I'm gonna do that. I've got a lot of drumsticks here, so I'm gonna squeeze them in here, because we all know they're gonna shrink. As they cook, they're going to shrink. And I always put my drumsticks flat, down flat. So let me bring you guys over a little more so you can see. Wait one second. Move you guys in a little more. Yep. Okay. All right. So. Okay, good. So make sure you guys can see down in there. All right. And, of course, I put my um, chicken... I put them like, you know, one up, one down kind of thing so they can all fit in here. I'm telling you, this lemon pepper, um, and I forgot to show you guys because I marinated the chicken yesterday, but I use the Larry's um, brand uh, season, lemon pepper season. It's their marinade, so you guys can find those anywhere, Walmart, anywhere. It's the lemon pepper season. Get these in here all nice. That's a big fat piece of chicken. Let's put him on the end. Because we got to get all this chicken squeezed in here. Oh, I tell you, this lemon pepper smells so good. Let me get these right. One up, one down. One up, one down. I'm going to leave that like that because it's so big over there. But see how I do my chicken. One up, one down. So you, everybody can fit. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We want to scoot these over. You see, we're gonna have to squeeze. I got one chicken left, and it is a big piece of chicken. Let's get that in here. All right, let's see how I'm gonna get that big piece in here. always make sure my skin is down on my chicken okay all right we got it in there we got them in there guys got them all in here nice a little little tight but it's all right make sure your chicken down make sure all your chicken is down flat make sure your chicken down flat I'm gonna change this one yeah fits better this way and I like to make sure my skin is pulled all the way up on my chicken. Pulled all the way up. All right. Ooh, we got to look at my room over here. Okay. All right. So, let me wash my hands. You guys see how I've got the chicken placed in there. Ch ch try just put the chicken in pan. However you want to put your chicken in your pan. I just put it, you know, cross, crisscross like that, you know, so it all can fit. One up, one down, you know, so it all can fit. So, now, what I'm going to do, now mind you, this is a nice, quick, easy way to do it. Let me get my potatoes open. Hold on, y'all. So, something quick and easy, you can put in one pan and just cover it with aluminum foil and throw it in the oven. That's it. And you just put in the oven. I've got the oven preheated at 400 degrees. And I'm going to let this cook for about 30 minutes. You know, 
and check on it after about 30 minutes. That should be plenty of time. And you guys see our roasted potatoes in here? Y'all see them? They all nicely roasted. Look at Let me take this plastic film off the top. Because that's what's causing the reflection. But see, these potatoes... Come on now. These potatoes are um, already cooked and roasted for us. Oh, they smell so good. Look at those potatoes. Look at them. Already roasted and everything. They already roasted and cooked. All you got to do is heat them up. But I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I'm just going to place them in here with our chicken. Just going to place them all around like that in the little... The little crevices with the chicken. I meant to get some lemons, but I changed my mind because I figured that'd just be too too much lemon. You don't want to over lemon. Too much lemon is bitter, you know. And I know my kids would not like that. So this is good enough. And we've got our potatoes here, and of course these potatoes are gonna help create a uh, juice gonna help create a juice for our chicken and you guys already know this chicken is gonna create its own little juice too make sure you guys can see what I'm doing yeah okay yeah y'all see real good I'm just stuffing the uh, potatoes in between our chicken in there wherever I can get them stuffed in at okay so I've got some stuffed on the sides and you know what I'm just gonna put the rest across the top one pan meal and you know what y'all you can also throw some carrots in here you know you can throw some carrots in here too i'm gonna add a little color i don't want to add any carrots i'm just gonna do the uh lemon pepper chicken with the potatoes you know that's what i wanted to do so look at that y'all that is looking real real good that's looking real yummy right now Real yummy. Let's kind of put those potatoes on top over here. That's a pretty big one. So I'll leave that one on the side. Let's see if we can put you over here. Okay. All right. So yeah, we see we got this big one over here. Um, I think I'll just I'm just gonna leave it. I'll just kind of leave it this way. Let me move this over. We'll just put that potato like that. Yeah, that looks good. Put this big one over there. Y'all know I gotta make it look good now. Gotta make your food look good. So, I put this to the side. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. <coughs> and then I'm gonna show y'all the last thing I'm gonna do. Okay. All right. Yep, y'all can see real good. I'm gonna take y'all in a little bit more so y'all can see. The baked chicken with the potatoes over it. Now. The rest of my lemon sauce, my lemon um, season marinade that's in my thing, I'm just going to pour it over the top. Just going to pour it over the top, just like that. Over the potatoes. So see, those potatoes are going to get that lemon pepper taste too. Ooh, them going to be some good potatoes. Lemon pepper potatoes oh that's gonna be good that's gonna be good y'all wait till y'all see we get this all roasted up take y'all in so y'all can get a good look oh that's gonna be good i'm telling y'all that baked chicken cook up all brown and those potatoes cook up all nice and brown and roasted it's gonna be good let me take y'all over like this so y'all can really see oh look at that with that lemon pepper marinade poured all over the top with the potato. The potato's gonna taste like lemon pepper. It's gonna be good, y'all. It's gonna be good. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get in the oven, 400 degrees. I'm gonna put it in there for about, about 30 minutes. I think that should be good enough to get that baked chicken all nice and roasted. I'm gonna put it in there for about 15 minutes with the aluminum foil across the top. I'm gonna cover it in aluminum foil for 15 minutes. And then I'm going to take that lemon foil off after 15 minutes and then let it finish cooking, you know, like roasting itself in the oven <clears throat> for the rest of the 15 minutes. Y'all wait and see. 
So y'all see, we already got everything panned up. 400 degrees, 15 minutes. Take the aluminum off, put it back in for 15 more minutes. All right, guys, I'll be back so you guys can see. Hey guys, I am back and you guys see, it was quick and simple. So my chicken, I think it was this aluminum pan. Normally I can put it in my pan for about 30 minutes, but it ain't happen that way y'all. But anyway, so in this uh, aluminum pan that I bought from Publix, it took an hour. So I did it for uh, half an hour with the aluminum foil on top and then the other half hour I took the aluminum foil off the top. So everything get all nice and brown and roasted. Y'all know I'm taking y'all into this. Look at this. Just look at this goodness. Look at the goodness. Lord have mercy. All right. This is my lemon pepper chicken. Le chicken of le lemon pepper. That's French for lemon Okay, y'all, y'all know what that means. Anyway, so this is my lemon le pepper le chicken with the roasted. Y'all heard that roasted? Ha! Y'all ain't know I could do that, but I could do it now with the roasted potatoes, potatoes, however you want to say it. Yes, it looks amazing and it tastes amazing because yeah I just broke off a little piece of the chicken just to make sure it was done and a little bite of the small potato that was kind of on the side it tastes amazing guys done whatever pan you use 30 minutes to an hour quick throw everything in one pan cook it in the oven voila dinner is done quick and easy guys y'all know how I like it quick and easy meals all right guys you seen me do it I ain't do a lot I know but y'all seen me do it this is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. All right, guys. Bye.